what I have learned from the books about Buddhism and what I really, really uh, appreciated are two things. First, it is the law of karma. Now, it is internationally known as karma, but in Pali, in the Theravada tradition, which we are following in Myanmar, we do not use the word karma, we use the word kamma. So the R is substituted by an M, and because you get double M, therefore, you uh, stop there for a short moment. So it's kamma. So kamma would be wrong. Kamma. Now kamma in Theravada Buddhism is is uh, the law of your actions and speech and the result that follows afterwards. Gamma is of three periods. Immediate karma, immediate gamma, gamma which comes later in your life, and gamma which comes ne in a next life, in one of the next lives. So I really appreciated the idea that what I'm experiencing, what I have, what I get, and what others are experiencing, or what they have or get, is fair. No? I totally, I believe, I totally understand the teachings of the God's plan and I absolutely accept that some people can believe it and I absolutely, you know, I'm absolutely fine with that. But for me, you know, if I have to choose what I could believe or if I have to choose what would more resonate, you know, with that, with the way how I think and how I, um, how I understand this world, for me, the law of gamma seems to make more sense. And it seems to be really, really fair. And I am really happy, you know, in a world where I do not need to uh, pity myself. Oh no, I like this, you know. To me, it's more helpful if I know that whatever bad happens to me, it's caused by my bad actions and that then serves as a reminder to avoid the bad actions. So if I lose things, you know, if there are like thieves and stealing my things, you know, or if there are bad people and they're uh, trying to harm me in any way, then rather than taking it like, oh no, I'm just, you know, uh, I'm so pitiful, you know, nobody cares, it's better to look at it like, okay, so this is the result of my past actions, so let's be good now. You know, let's be a nice person, let's be a helpful person, let's be a forgiving, a forgiving, loving person, so that this experience doesn't happen to me anymore. Or if it has to happen, it will not happen anymore, apart from, as a result from the previous actions. So for me, Gamma seemed to be very helpful, you know, on my path, the belief in Gamma. So I really, really liked it. Suddenly the world made sense. Now there's the other thing, and that's the teaching on not so. Now already from my age of five, I was wondering, hey, where am I coming from? Why am I here? Who am I? And I thought maybe, Maybe I was an alien, and aliens from another planet sent me to this world with a mission. Or maybe, actually in my past life, my friends suggested to me that in the next life I will be sharing what's helpful to other people. Who knows? But this was my idea when I was five years old. And since then I was always thinking, so who am I? What is this I, you know? What, what is this that I can identify as me? Because it seemed to me that the body is changing, the mind is changing. So what is this me, you know? Like if I'm born in heaven, then what from this is born in heaven? And so I thought, okay, so it's the character. Okay, so I'm like a good person, so in heaven I will be born as a good person. But then I saw... Uh, 
uh, if you know the Dallas uh, Dallas series movie series and somebody told to to the JR hey JR I didn't see you for a long time but you haven't changed at all no? but then there are people who say hey you have changed so much after those years I haven't seen you and so many people actually change their character so much so I thought okay so it's not character so then what is it it's not this body it's not this mind it's not the habits and it's not the likes there are people you know who there there is a case but there are many such cases there was a gentleman who didn't like you know to drive motorbike to ride a motorbike or he didn't like to watch football you know and uh, he had a problem I think with a kidney so he went to a hospital and now they gave him a kidney of another man so he got a kidney and suddenly he loves to drive to ride a motorbike suddenly he loves to watch football and he's wondering hey how did this happen you know right after I got this new kidney this other kidney I started to like what I didn't like before now some people, when they get another part of another person's body, they even remember their address where they lived, you know, and who's their wife and so on. So as is the law, you know, the person must not know who is the donor of that uh, bodily part. So only when there is a really like a serious reason, then they are allowed to know. And this gentleman then inquired who was the donor of the kidney and finally he found out that the donor actually loved to ride motorbike he loved to watch football and in the other cases when they remember the other person's when they get the other person's memory they actually uh, ask about the other person and they see really that person uh, was that person you know that what I that, that you know what I remember now so aha uh -huh. so that becomes a problem so likings also can change change your kidney and your likings change so that for me was uh, another interesting uh, addition to what i already believed so the idea that there is no self that everything is just effects of conditions so much resonated with me i thought yes this absolutely makes sense i was searching so long for something that is permanent here and the solution is that there is nothing permanent you know so i was just so happy you know it totally made sense to me i wasn't able to experience it to see it but from the theoretical point it just made sense to me so much so now there is no other religion in the world than Buddhism which teaches not self. All other religions, if we uh, include certain sects of Hinduism, would teach not self apparently because they borrowed it from Buddhism. So for me the idea of not self was pretty clear. Uh, pretty clear uh, directive what to do okay so not self is in Buddhism that means this is the uh, this is the teachings that I want to know more about so these were the two things that really uh, that I really really appreciated the teaching on Kamma and teaching on not self